Iran has determined future locations to build 16 new nuclear power plants. The Atomic Energy Organization of Iran says under a long-term objective, it will build its new nuclear power plants along the coastal regions of the Persian Gulf, the Sea of Oman and the northwestern regions. The news came during the second annual meeting of Iran's nuclear industry managers. We have identified and designated 16 locations across the country. Almost half of these locations are our top priority. We plan to build our modern nuclear reactors in these locations first. The head of the Atomic Energy Organization of Iran says it's no secret that the country has installed hundreds of advanced centrifuge machines for enriching uranium at its Natanz nuclear plant. He said that this major upgrade in Iran's nuclear energy program is in no way a provocative step as claimed by the U.S. government. Iran began enriching uranium because of the unilateral sanctions imposed by the West. We now supply fuel to Tehran nuclear reactor. We can also supply other countries with nuclear fuel under the IAEA supervision. We are using advanced centrifuges and those who are not happy with this should get along with new realities. <laughs> We won't accept anyone to tell us do more than what we must do under the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty or have less than what we are entitled to under the NPT. Hopefully, those who will hold talks with Iran the coming days are aware of their past deeds and results. We hope they will act wisely this time and come up with a credible approach. Under the direct supervision of the International Atomic Energy Agency, Tehran is enriching uranium at 3.5 and 20 percent for reactor fuel and also for medical and scientific purposes. In a report submitted to Press TV, the Atomic Energy Organization of Iran also says that the country has a stockpile of 4,400 tons of uranium for immediate use, plus proven uranium reserves of up to 33,000 tons. Qamban Nadiri, Press TV, Tehran.